Hey guys, what's up? Monkey here, and today I'm bringing you guys the third part of the how to make a simple logo inside of uh, Photoshop and various programs. So today we're inside of Photoshop as you can see, and this is the last part to uh, making your logo just look as good as it should be. So from the last tutorial, we used that we made our uh, image 3D VC. So now what I'm going to do, we're going to just uh, import this into our uh, Photoshop. So we're going to grab it. No, before we do that, actually, sorry, we're gonna hit a new project. That's key, and I'll tell you right. So, um, hit new, and for uh, the width in pixels, it doesn't have to be too big. I'm gonna say about 1200, you know, 1200, 800 by 1200. And that's about that. Actually, let's do a little smaller, just a little smaller, more about 800 by 100 or 1000 that's better okay so we're gonna go to our desktop we're gonna drag our uh, picture into there our logo into the background right there let me just resize it just a little it's how big I want it <clears throat> and we're good okay so all I have to do now is uh, we're just gonna customize a little. So let's start with the background actually. So we're gonna double click on that just so it's not locked anymore. Double click on your layer. And we're just gonna explore. Now I'm gonna try out a gradient. Now, sorry, excuse me, sorry. Let's have a little burp. Um, what we're gonna do now is uh, we're gonna customize our gradient. So it all depends on what kind of style, style you're going for. Um, if it's something quick and easy, you can just go to one of the defaults click one of these and get different ones now I don't like really any of these because it doesn't match the theme I'm going for like this one's close but I'm more or less going for a just simple white and black fade kind of professional look but it might I don't want it necessarily to be just black so what you could also do is just double click on this change the color that you want you could have it be black and uh, white or white and black whichever um, just explore and see what looks good to me I think I'm going to keep the black for sure. For the white, I'll probably change it to about red, dark red maybe, or even uh, lower black. Okay. Ignore the background. I'm sorry about that. But yeah, see that looks okay for now. For there on the gradient, what we could do on uh, the gradient overlay is you can change the rotation down. And we can change the scale, bring it, make it more distinct. We can also make it a little more faded too. I think that looks the best so far, like that. And that's it for the gradient. Now what we can do now on the logo is you can add some effects. So we can add Satan that makes the inner part um, kind of darker. Um, hmm, around there should be good. That's good. Opacity, no, that's good for there. Inner glow, don't really need that because you have Satan on it. We could do uh, outer glow, make it look a little better. Make the size up a little more, spread, let you know, leave the spread down. Change the opacity down just so it's a little, <clears throat> you know, it's a little more vague. Change the range from here. Color, you could put it to like, uh, we can make it match the color of the thing. So, uh, right there could be good. And if you also want to, you can change to gradient and then double click on there. It'd be like that. It could be a gradient of stuff. But uh, we're going for this, the subtle blue. There. Um, a shadow wouldn't really make as much sense. Like, you could do that, but the reason why a shadow wouldn't make sense because it just would kind of be there. Like, it, there's no point. It's not like it's displayed. Like, if we had um, right here, like a sunny background or like a beach or just outside, it would make sense. But it's just it's just a plain canvas, so uh, shadow isn't really needed. You can do a little distance just to give it a little more, you know, a little more drop inside of the the, the texture. But that's about it. <clears throat> For here, color overlay, don't really need one. Uh, you could put it to screen if you want, and then change the color to like a different. I don't know, like you could change it to like a uh, purple or something right there and then lower it down to like about that just to give that subtle but I, re I like I like the straight black I like it like that and then there's bevel and all that stuff you don't have to do that 
Yeah, this doesn't even look that good on that. For the most part, that's what you have to do for the logo, so just take that off. So right now, this is good. Uh, gradient, don't need that. Actually, you could try that too. Let's see what... like. It's, uh, when you're doing this, just try to always um experiment. Because um, you never know if it's going to look good or not until you try it. So uh, who knows? Little gradient on this couldn't... Could, like, it could maybe work. You never know. Like this, that looks okay. If I change it to screen... Yeah, I like darken a little better. Or most like it work too. Not nah, darken. So that. <clears throat> and you can see, like, that... That's okay, but I like the blue. I want the blue to be shown, so slight right there. And that's what you have for this part. Now, another thing you can do is that you can also uh, put particles and stuff in the background. So right now, I can search up quickly on Google. I can just search up um, particles. You know, simply go to images. Uh, take something from here. View image save as save it to my desktop I don't even need to go to my desktop I actually could do this drag it put it on here right there just move it up a little more right there then um, go on, make sure it's on top of the layer clipping mask and then then overlay actually you don't even need the clipping mask actually just release it just have it on overlay or even screen and uh, you can change the opacity of it oh my bad change the opacity of it if you have it on overlay it'll probably be a little darker and you could just mess around with it you know you can like uh, rotate it too so if you hit control T to rotate sorry bring it out more just so it has an offset You can even uh, duplicate it and break it up into parts. Have it uh, overlaid a little more. Uh, let's, let's get control T, get this out a little more. Get the eraser tool if you want. Rasterize it first. And you can, uh, if you have the right brush tool, open it up and you can just erase around. I personally don't like that though. Like this is okay, but it's nothing that we need to do so that right itself is good and um, for the text sorry for the text because the, the thing is value true so I'm going to do that so when it comes down just type it's all together shoot okay slow it down bring this down right here right there I can customize it, put some bevel on it. Uh, I think, no, I think that's okay. I don't think it needs that. It's an auto glow. Lower it down, of course. It's way too much. Let's not even make it that color. Let's make it like same color as this. See how that looks. That's good. Gradient overlay. Put to uh, screen or something. That's good. Put it on reflected, have it equal down. See how bevel looks on it now. Nope, still not that great. On top of that, what you could do also then is duplicate this. Duplicate uh, layer, put it on top of the, this one, then clipping mask it. And you can uh, make it smaller, of course. One sec. Make sure you hold on the shift, bring it over here, and then boot. And then right there, it's pretty much a simple thing now. This isn't great, but uh, for the whole logo part, you're most most of the time you're only gonna be really using this part of the logo. But this is just like the finish thing, like the whole finish thing. No, there's obviously more things you can do to make it look as good as you want. Like I can even just make another rectangle, blah blah, over everything. Make it, I don't know, make it black. Just like inside of the background tutorial. You know, change the opacity a little. And then, uh, erase around. You know. No, these are just ideas you can do and stuff. But I won't use that for this because this is just overkill. But, uh, yeah. So that's pretty much it.
uh, for the three part tutorial. Um, not much really added to this, but just feel free to be creative and everything because um, this will probably take you a lot longer. Like this took me like what five seven minutes just because um, I'm rushing through it. But when you're doing this, take time and trust me, it'll probably make, take you a good three hours to even get like your logo concept done. To like or not about an hour to like finally like it then like another hour to go in photoshop and customize it to your liking so yeah so that's pretty much it um if you haven't seen the other tutorials i'll put it inside of the description for part one part two uh if there's any other tutorials that you guys want me to do stuff on for graphics uh, feel free to leave it down i'm still kind of new to this but i will uh, be able to hopefully be able to make a tutorial on it so uh that's pretty much it rate comment subscribe if you guys want me to do more three-part tutorials like this and stuff just tell me and i will and yeah, so uh, that'll be it. Uh, today's Mother Day, Mother's Day where I am. So make sure you give your mother, you know, a kiss on the cheek or something. So you love her, all that good stuff. And yeah, and also this has been Monkey. I'll see you guys later and have a good day. Bye.